What's going on YouTube? DJ K coming at you with another video. In this video we're going to be uh, messing around with Akai NPC element. Just want to show you guys how you can use the NPC element and uh, you can get multiple tracks with it in your digital audio workstation uh, using it as an instance of a plugin basically. You got to create a plugin track basically. Software instrument is what you'll select. Hit create then you gotta go get that uh, the Akai NPC element. You can scroll down, and you, first you'll always come up. Um, I guess this always come up. This classic electric piano will come up. It's an arrow right here. Well, you gotta right here down on this one. You hit that, and then you can go select the plugin, the Akai NPC element software, which will be an AU Instruments. And you go there and you get the essential software. There it is. Now, you're going to want to set your bars because it's automatically just set at two bars. So we're going to set that at four bars with the trackpad on my laptop. That's how I had to set it. BPM, I don't know if you can set that right here. You might be able to. But if you can't set it here, you can, all, you can set it in the Logic Pro X software. So that's what I'm going to do once I get this done. I'm going to go ahead and uh, select plugin. Then I'll go and get my contact 5 plugin. And then I'll hit that E button so I can select my uh, contact 5 instrument, which is Drum Lab. And I'm going to select that. And I got my contact 5 instrument. It's right there in your face. I can close this out right now. And I'm going to go to the... Uh, Logic Pro X software and I'm going to select in this box right here so that I can uh, change this tempo because it right now is at 120 BPM 120 BPM so I want to change that to 84 BPM and there you go it's changed it's 84 BPMs here 84 BPMs on the Ikai NPC essential software so now I'm ready to go uh, also I'm going to let this I'm make this loop at four bars so Hit that and it's going to loop at four bars on the Logic Pro X software. Now, I'm going to go to my Akai NPC Element controller, hit Pad Bank, and then I hit Pad Bank C. And that's going to allow me to get my sounds from Drum Lab. I'm going to hit full level so I can get full volume of the Akai NPC software and the, well, the sound or whatever. So what you want to do to get ready to go on your beat to get to record, get your uh, NPC Essential software ready to record with Logic Pro X, you're going to want to hit the record button on the controller. So now it's ready to go. And you, in order to start this, you're going to have to start it from the Logic Pro X software, which is that record button right there on the top. And once you hit that, it's going to go one bar for me, then I'll start sequencing this beat, this, uh, drum, this drum pattern. Now, if you hear any uh, a little distortion, that's the that's the uh, built-in audio sound card from uh, the MacBook Pro making that crazy noise. Okay, so now that's one track using the NPC Essential software. Okay, you want to make another track? You just go up here and say New Tracks, and say Software Instrument Create. There you go. There's our new one right there, and that ain't it yet. Hold on, that's actually the old. That's just that's the first one. That's Drum Lab. So let's go here and let's go select the uh, NPC element again. NPC essential software again. All right. So, and this one's set to two bars too. So then you got to go and you got to change this one to four bars using my trackpad. That's what I'm doing now. And now I can go get, say, plugin. Then I can go and find my plugin that I want to use. 
Uh, we'll use, I don't know. Uh, let's see. We can use Massive, maybe. Let's try Massive. See what Massive got in it. And there is Massive on the screen. And let's see. Let's get some. Alright, it'd be it'd be best if you use a keyboard really, but I'm just using the, the pads on the element right now to make a beat. But anyway, let's play this just to come up with something. I don't know, something, whatever. Might mess up, but who cares? Let's start it over. Let's start this over from the beginning. Alright. Alrighty, let's see. And we're gonna go with the card. I'm on the right track. I think I am. If you don't like it, you know, you can always start over. Hit record. Software instruments. Throw this one out. Go in and get your Akai MPC Essential Software. Make sure you 
can change your bars to four bars of these. So this is going to record that. Hit record on your Akai MPC element and then hit record on there. I'm going to mess up probably. I forgot the key. So, hold on. Pretty much it. That's how you get more tracks out of your NPC element right there. That's a lot of work though, man, if you ask me, doing all that. I'd rather just hook up my uh, Akai NPC ring and run with it, you know. <laughs> That's just me though. This is for somebody, which you know what, it, even though this is affordable, you still got to have a digital audio workstation to use this, if you ask me. To really get the full use out there so out of the NPC Essential software, you need a digital audio workstation. So most people who buy this, that's what they will need. They will need Logic or I don't know maybe reason or uh, Pro Tools or whatever you use you're gonna need something to use with that Akai MC element to get the full use out of it yeah you see what I'm doing here yeah you can have multiple tracks with it but you gotta go through all this to do it um, 
But that's it. I'll see you guys on the next video. Drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Not about the beat, because I know the beat was uh ay 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 ass, but uh <laughs> I just wanted to show y'all how you use a Kai NPC element in a digital audio workstation. See you guys on the next video. Thank you all for subscribing, commenting, and rating. Make sure you like the Facebook page at Hit Creative Music Fans. Link will be in the description box of this video. And I will catch you guys on the next video. DJ K is out.